What's up guys, here we are, it's another week at the Home Theater Hobbies, and this week we're going to be talking about HDMI 2.1, so let's get to it. So a few days ago I had a comment and I decided I wanted to address it via video because I have a, kind of a lot to say about it, and it's with regards to HDMI 2.1. But before we get to that particular comment, let's go over the HDMI 2.1 specification and find out what's in it. The HDMI 2.1 specification was published by the HDMI Association at the end of 2017. The current HDMI standard, HDMI 2.0, has a data rate of 18 gigabytes per second, whereas HDMI 2.1 has a data rate of 48 gigabytes per second. So it's a much, much fatter tube for data. So here are a few features from HDMI 2.1. The first is it supports up to 10K resolution. Now that probably won't be used for us, it'll probably be more industrial. For us as consumers, we'll probably see the 8K at 60 frames per second, which is a plus. It also has support for higher frame rate, such as 4K at 120 frames per second. It has enhanced audio return channel, which allows your TV apps to send 3D immersive audio formats and lossless audio formats to your receiver via HDMI. It also has dynamic HDR, which is very, very similar to Dolby Vision, but it won't be proprietary like Dolby Vision is. It has quick frame transport, which reduces latency between the source and the TV, which is a plus for gamers. It has variable refresh rate, which syncs the TV and the source so you will get smoother gameplay if you're a gamer. It also has quick media switching, which reduces the time when switching input sources on your TV. That way you don't have that black screen in between switching sources. It has better lip sync technology, and it's also backwards compatible with previous HDMI standards, but you will need a new cable. Now, moving on to the comment. The commenter was responding to a statement I made in one of the, my videos on a receiver saying that it was future-proof and he mentioned that it's not future-proof because HDMI 2.1 is coming out and 8k is coming so we need to we're not really future-proof and from that standpoint he is accurate HDMI 2.1 is actually here technically and 8k resolution is in that particular specification but I still think we're pretty future-proof and the reason why I say that is because First of all, HDMI 2.1, there aren't any receivers out on the market today that can support HDMI 2.1. And the second thing is, even if you have an 8K receiver, there's no content for 8K. So there's not really much there for you. When I say future-proof in a video, I mean you're future-proof for a few years, two to three to four, maybe even five years. But as we all know, when you purchase technology, there's nothing that is truly, truly future-proof. Everything has a shelf life. Just like cards, you buy a card this year, you know a better card is gonna be out next year, but you buy it now knowing that it's just gonna happen. And that's kinda of how we have to buy technology. Now, speaking on 8K, when it comes down to resolution, at normal seating distances, at normal screen sizes, you're not gonna be able to notice a difference between 4K and 8K resolution. Our eyes just are not that good. So from a resolution standpoint, I'm not super excited about 8K. The other thing with 8K is the content who's going to produce the content and where are we going to get it from. There's currently no Blu-ray standard or any other disc standard for 8K. There's also no real good content delivery system overall. No one from Netflix to Amazon is talking about delivering 8K video. Currently when we talk about 4K, especially on disc or any other uh, means, what you'll notice is that they'll shoot it in 4K or 5K or 6.5K or something like that. They'll It'll get down res to 2K so that the source material can be worked on and color corrected and all those things that they do in the studio. And then it'll be up converted back to 4K and delivered to us via streaming or disc or something like that. So there's this movement from here down and back up. So there's no true, there's very few 4K all the way through type things. And so when it comes down to 8K, I feel like we're still going to be in that particular situation. So I don't think there's going to be any content for 8K for several years now anything that's really good, shall we say. Now, I am aware that in 2020, the uh, Japanese Olympics are supposed to be broadcasting in 8K. I'm not really sure what that's gonna be and how they're gonna get it to us. I assume it'll be over the internet, but I don't know at this time. 
But other than that, there's no one that's really talking about shooting 8K video. Now there's other things within the HDMI 2.1 spec that I think is actually really good outside of the resolution rates. I think high frame rate is really good. I think variable refresh rate is very good. And also quick frame transport is very good, especially for those people that are gamers. I know a lot of you are gamers and so smoother gameplay is always better. Lag free gameplay is always better. Those things are great. And so if you're really looking into that, maybe you wanna hold out for a receiver or a television that supports HDMI 2.1. But if you're not really into that, you're not really missing anything because when it comes down to frame rate, the movie industry is having a hard time to move past 24 frames per second. Peter Jackson, as you all know, did uh, The Hobbit in 48 frames per second, and a lot of people complain, oh, it looks like video. And so we have gotten accustomed to 24 frames per second from a movie industry, movie watching industry, so moving past that may be a, a bit of a hurdle. One day we will, and HDMI will be ready for it. But I don't think that all Hollywood directors are gonna be jumping on this uh, 48 frames, 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second type thing. Billy Lynn's long halftime walk also had high frame rate and I think the movie was pretty good. I didn't see it myself. I heard the movie was really good, but um, some people, again, didn't like that video look. So high frame rate, I think will be more for gaming for at least the um, near future than it will be for movies. Overall, HDMI 2.1 is really good, but I think it's something that's more for the gaming side of thing and just overall able to handle bigger bandwidth things than anything else. Thank you guys for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, comment below, and if you enjoy the content that you see on this channel, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Thanks. We'll talk to you next time.